first one was cause and effect, and our article was Rolling Dice, Raiders Have a New City, which is Las Vegas, just no stadium. One of the first causes is they haven't been to a Super Bowl since 2002. Restart. One of the first causes is that they haven't been to a Super Bowl since 2002. And their football field, they share a football field with the baseball team in Oakland. And there is no income tax in Nevada, so if they move to Las Vegas, all the employees will make more money. And the football organization is losing money, so they are choosing to move to a new state that will be better for money. And uh, some of the effects are they are basically starting fresh with a new team and stadium, and they can start a new franchise. And they will get a brand new stadium and a place for players to practice. And employees will make more money for the football team. So what was the primary cause? What was the, what was the issue? What was the cause that made an effect happen? I think they oh. just said that. that um, <laughs> the, the football organization, organization was losing money. Good. So then, what was the final outcome, the final effect of that? That they are moving to Las Vegas, Nevada. Good. Nice job. Okay. Um, the next one is Common Solution. We did Pokemon Go. We did cause unexpected injury and social life. The problem is that people are getting in accidents from playing Pokemon Go. Some accidents are while driving and they um, crash into other cars because they're watching the road or going to the ditch. And then another one is that people run out on the streets and they're not looking both ways and they get smoked or something. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Wouldn't be playing at night though make it worse? No, because of the best Pokemon. Yeah, after the best Pokemon come out. Yeah. Right, but There's then. Less traffic. Okay, traffic. less traffic. All right. But I was thinking it would be darker, so you could hit people. But you can't like uh, you can't like make people not play at night. Okay. But like. That's the best Pokemon. There's this thing where you can hack the game and a joystick in the house so you don't even have to go outside. So you don't, yeah. So then you can't even have to in cars because you're just safely in your room. Uh, and then, um, or they could just ban the game from all mobile daddy devices so they can't play it outside their house. Hmm. <laughs> or just ban the game to go and just take it off. Always. But isn't it a huge money maker? Mm -hmm. yeah. So they, that's probably not going to happen. Yeah. Um, so the solution, well, what they do is they put like a message before the game opens that's saying like, why or be Check safe. Check no trespassing. Well, like, we, they should make it to where like, it's longer and tell people what actually can happen and like make it like one minute long on that screen so they like have to read it before they can move on because it's just a quick on the game like it just shows up real quickly and on. Where else do we have things like that that we have to read the warning before we can watch something? YouTube, iTunes. Movies. Okay, iTunes, movies, movies. yep, movies. You record it and sell it or whatever, it's like a $500,000 fine or $250,000. And a year in jail. Okay, nice job, boys. Okay. Oh, my first? Yeah. Okay, so um, the problem is that Harley Davidson motorcycle thefts are increasing. 
Um, some possible solutions, uh, lock up your bike steering. Do not use large parking lots because it's easy picking for any deep. Um, be cautious about the area where you park your bike. Don't go to a sketchy new road. Park her there, probably not a good idea. And the uh, best thing that you can do if, for yourself to ensure your bike is always safe to ride is uh, get motorcycle theft insurance and then your bike is always covered and easily replaced if it is stolen. So the problem is people are stealing Harley Davidson bikes. Yeah. And the solution is get theft insurance? Yeah. Okay. Can you not like take the key out of the engine or anything? Hot wiring. Hot wiring. Okay. All right. Or they can put it on trailer. Okay. Good. Okay. So, California, the, all the flowers in the desert are blooming at one time. So, a bunch of people are coming there. Um, one of the causes is California had a really wet winter, and then in the spring they received. Six and a half inches of rain, and then they had 90 degree weather. And then the flower, there's a track, tiny little sphinx moths. So then a bunch of hawks come and then eat all the flowers, I mean the moss. So the moss eat the flowers and the hawks eat the moss. And then the flowers all grew faster than they usually do. And flowers in the desert all bloomed at the same time. So a bunch of people are coming and there's been like that and vandalization. And is it a natural like habitat so they can't take things? No, they can take things, it's just the desert. Okay, so why is it an issue if there's theft? Because people are stealing people's stuff because there's a bunch of people coming to steal the flowers. So they're not just stealing the flowers, they're no, it doesn't matter if people Okay, <laughs> I'm not sure what that is either. Okay, it's someone stealing flowers in the hallway right now. <laughs> okay, so what was your main cause? California had a wet winter. Okay, so California had a wet winter. Um, that was the cause of an issue, and then the effect was. California is having a super bloom in the desert. Super bloom in the desert, which then is impacting residents there, community life there, those sorts of things. Because uh, many small towns, restaurants run out of food, and then there's traffic jams. Okay, so that could be even more cause and effect issues. People poop in fields. Yeah, that too. People poop in fields, okay. Well, there's always cactus. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so how was this though, using this breakdown of the rubrics to go through problem and solution and cause and effect with nonfiction? And this is for anybody. Did was it help was it a pretty straightforward guide to take you through it? Yeah. Yeah. You can be honest if it wasn't. Okay. All right. Thank you, and this was the Steve Dunn approach. And there it is right there. Okay.